If you have a minimal amount of experience in programming, chances are you've heard of the word bool. We know that int stands for integer and char for character, but what about the bool data type? Today, we'll look at the man behind the concept of the data type and much more, George Bool. This is my first time doing this kind of biography, so let me know what I can do to improve or who you'd like to see in the comments below. George was born in Lincoln, Lincolnshire on November 2, 1815. His family consisted of parents John and Mary, as well as three younger siblings. With his father, John Bool, being a shoemaker, George had little formal education and academic teaching. Because of this, George was mainly self-taught in mathematics. In addition to mathematics, George was also able to learn French, German, Latin, and then eventually Greek when he was just 14 years old. Due to the decline of John Bull's business and with a family to support, George, at 16 years old, worked as a junior teacher at Highgim School in Doncaster. A friend of George's father and mathematician, Edward Bromhead, helped George by giving him books on math and calculus, but without a teacher, it took him many years to truly learn calculus. When George was only 19 years old, he established his own school in Lincoln. During his downtime, he read Newton's Principia, Laplace's Chret de Mechanica Celeste, and Lagrange's Mechanic Analytic, and was starting to solve advanced algebra problems. If you're a math minor or major, you've most likely heard of Laplace and Lagrange in college. Then George became involved in the Lincoln Topographical Society and became somewhat famous locally due to his mathematics. In 1844, Bull wrote an important paper called On a General Method in Analysis and won the first prize in mathematics by the Royal Society and eventually won the admiration of Augustus de Morgan, who I'll do a video on later on. It's important to note that George wrote 60 papers and 4 books throughout his life. With his various mathematical papers written, he eventually became a professor of mathematics at Queen's College Cork in 1849, now known as University College Cork. He met his future wife, Mary Everest, and married in 1855. In 1855, he was awarded the Keith Medal and was elected member of the Fellow of the Royal Society in 1857. There were two other important mathematical papers that connected him to computer science. The first is the mathematical analysis of logic in 1847 and an investigation of thought in 1854. These two books created a new branch of mathematics, Boolean logic. Boolean logic helped how modern computers work. Boolean logic narrows down math variables to true or false, on or off. Keep in mind this is not the same as binary, which was created about 200 years earlier by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. After George and Mary were married, they had five daughters, and their intellect must have been hereditary because of their daughters, Alicia made contributions in 40 geometry, and Lucy Everest was the first professor in chemistry in England. In 1864, there was heavy rainfall, to which Boole developed pneumonia, and on December 8, 1864, he passed away from a fever-induced pleural effusion, excessive fluids in the lungs. He was buried in the Church of Ireland at St. Michael's Church Road, where there is a commemorative plaque inside the church. Bool is the namesake of Boolean algebra, calculus that involves truth values or set membership. His work was extended further by William Jevons and Augustus de Morgan. Boolean data type, or Bool, is a data type that's either true or false. Boolean model, which is a model in stochastic geometry, and much, much more. Even in 3D Studio Max, a 3D software program uses Boolean and ProBoolean. 200 years after his birth in 2015, the University College Cork celebrated his life and legacy. He came from poverty, was self-taught in mathematics, had daughters that also contributed in the world of STEM, and contributed a branch of mathematics which eventually led to the Boole data type among other mathematical concepts we still use to this day. Hopefully that will inspire the audience to realize it doesn't matter what your income or social status is, as long as you have the passion and perseverance to pursue your dreams.